So in this problem, they tell us that A, B, C, D, this polygon right here, this bigger guy, is similar to the smaller guy um, E, F, G, D, okay? Um, so then they say we need to write a proportion to determine the value of x and y. So we need to solve for x and y. But before we go on, I want to just make sure we understand what it means for two polygons to be similar. Um, that's what that little squiggly represents, is saying ABCD is similar to EFGD. So let's look back at our definition of similar polygons. So here we see that... Um, the two, ooh, let me see, I think I need to move this just a little bit so you can see that. Um, similar polygons have corresponding angles congruent and lengths of the sides are proportional. So here we can see um, all of the corresponding, the red angles are congruent, the blue ones, the green ones. Um, but then what's really interesting, we write these proportions. So side A, B, um, um, over GH equals BC over HI. So we can write that proportion with all those different ratios and then just set them equal to each other. Um, and we can write that proportion and that will help us solve for those variables in our other problem. So when, when we go back to that, I want to be able to write this piece of information because I know that's true of similar polygons. So let's go back. Um, and let's look at this. So the first thing I know I can do is that side AD, which is one of the sides um, of the larger polygon, um, over the corresponding side on the smaller one, which is DE, is equal to the ratios of all those other sides. So let's go through them. We've got AD, we just did that one. Let's do AB over EF, um, which is congruent to or equal to BC. Notice how I'm keeping all the larger polygon sides on top and the smaller ones on bottom. I'm being consistent. So BC corresponds to FG. Um, and then the last one here, CD over GD. Okay, so there we have um, the information that we know just because, just from the fact that these are similar polygons. Now I can go back and plug all this information in. So let's look, what's AD equal? AD is this length here, and I know that part of it is 6 and the other part is 3, so together um, I can add those and that equals 9, that length is 9. Um, so I'm just going to plug that in right over here. So AD is 9 over, and then what is DE? Let's see, DE is 6 long, and then AB, 5 over, and then EF, let's say EF is Y, equals BC, that length right here is 7.5, not 75. Um, and then that goes over FG, um, which is X. And then the length CD, it doesn't tell us um, how long that is. Um, so I, I can't plug that in, and I don't know how long GD is, but that's okay, because I just want to find X and Y, and I already have an equation to help me solve it. Um, so here, now I have um, this long proportion here. Um, I don't want to deal with both uh, both of those variables at the same time, so I'm just going to pull out the part that talks about y. I'm going to solve y at first. 9 over 6 equals 5 over y, and then um, I can come back and find um, x by putting 9 over 6 equals 7.5 over x. Now, here's where I can solve a proportion. I have a video on this, so I'm just going to do it really quickly here. Um, but if you're struggling with that, you can go and find that um, video. So this would be 9y equals 6 times 5. Um, so 9y equals 30. 
Um, and then we can divide both sides by 9. So we end up with um, dividing by 9. Y equals 3 and 1 third. Repeating. That's what Y equals. Um, here, go back and solve for X. We do our cross product property. 9 times X equals 6 times 7 and a half. Okay, so um, then we have 9x equals um, 6 times 7 and a half, which I think is, yeah, that is 45. Okay, um, divide both sides by 9. We get x equals 5. Yeah.